How's it guys? My name is Eugene Wolf from Durban, South Africa. So today what I want to talk to you about is what we've done with the Jazza model. We have taken the Jazza model, his Jazza cartoon, and converted it into a 3D printed model. This is just proving how you can take something that is a concept or an idea, bring it onto a computer and then bring it into the physical world. So we printed a model of Jazza that my son Jason made up in Blender. Uh, when we first found out about this offer that Jazza had, we decided to do a submission and we came up with the idea of converting Jazza's cartoon into a real physical model. Jason spent a couple of weeks working on this and uh, we finally got a model out last night. So we're on D-Day on the date of the submission and uh, Jason got the model out. So well done Jason, I'm very, very proud of you and I think you've done an amazing job. So we have 3d printed this jazz he's so good jazz is so cute um i i i'm i'm in the model uh i'm not, I'm not talking about uh, a jazz well jazz is good leave it okay no way so i'm going to walk you through the process of bringing a model that is on your computer or on a piece of paper into real life i use my trusty ender 3 and this machine is an amazing machine it's a budget machine it comes in at under 200 dollars you can get this machine from uh, Creality or from Banggood and it is so cheap but if you look at the quality of the models that it brings out it's quite an amazing machine. From Blender you export the file as an STL and then you bring it into a slicer program. Now what a slicer does is, is it takes a model like this and slices it up into individual layers so that when you're printing the printer knows that it only prints on the X and the Y and then it moves up on the Z, prints on the X and the Y and moves up on the Z. So the uh, Cura software slices that into what's called G-code. G-code is exported to your printer and away you go. You start bringing your ideas into reality. And man, have I brought a lot of ideas into reality. I have fixed things like keys that have broken the, the plastic part off. I've fixed that. I've fixed things around my, my house. I make models for holding batteries and all sorts of things there's daily we are printing something on this printer and this printer just works it's highly modified I've modified my my axis here so I've made it even in a better machine and that is the fun part if you look at the 3d printer these parts are 3d printed on the 3d printer for the 3d printer so uh, it is great fun it's a great hobby to get into uh, 3D printing is an amazing uh, hobby to get into and it really is great fun and exciting. And I'm sure Jazza has done a few videos. I've actually seen a couple of his videos where he printed a model of his face and he made it with painting. Jazza, you're incredible, bro, with your paint, painting and what you do on, on, on your channel. So what we do now is we take that object. I sometimes digress. So we take that object, we bring it into Cura and then we slice it. So let's work through that process. So I've opened up my model on Cura version 4.3. I'm one of the latest version, which is version 4.4. And Cura has become come a long way in slicing. What it happens now is that it has the Ender 3 profile built into Cura. And it is very well optimized for the latest version of, of uh, the Ender 3 and the settings in your slicer settings. So what I've done is I've brought the model into Cura and we can see that you can rotate around the model, we can resize the model, we can uh, rotate the model along its axis and how we want to print it. And um, I noticed when I printed my model here, I actually printed it back to front. And as you saw in the intro where we did the time lapse of the, of the uh, printing, you'll see that it was the, the wrong way around. So we bring the model into Cura and we I've got all my printers selected, I've got the profiles selected, the type of plastic I'm using in, the, in this case, I'm using something called PLA. And then we bring it in and we slice it. So we slice the model. Once it finished slicing, it'll give you a time of how long the print will take. And then if you look at the preview, you can see all the uh, supports that are built in. Now, that's why I left the model on the build plate here. You can see these supports, okay? Supports are there to hold up 
anything that is above the ground that is at a certain angle. Now, what will happen is this, say for example, you print, I print my hand here with my fingers down. If my fingers were here, as it's slicing and it's printing and it gets to this point, it'll print in mid-air and the, and the filament won't have any way to adhere to. So what you do is you put in a support. Now the support uh, provides support to the object that needs to be printed higher up. It uses more plastic, but it works, it works well. So as you can see here, I've got my supports. So once you've got your, your supports, you send the object off to the printer and away it goes and it prints your object. So now that this one is printed, I printed this last night overnight, and we just pull it off the bull plate, right? And then we've got our supports here, which we can just break away. The supports break away beautifully. Okay, so the head came off. <laughs> Sorry, Jazz, I didn't mean to break your head off. But this is they have something that can happen. Our models break and all that. You just simply have to reprint. So luckily, I've got, whoops, luckily I've got this flying Jazzo right here. That is my backup model. And um, I have taken all the supports off of the sides and um, on the chin. Anywhere where anything is hanging below the, the plane of printing. So I've done this. I've done a, a partial cleanup of this one here. And this is now ready to be fully cleaned up. It can take quite a while for you to clean it up and to, to take all the burrs off and using sandpaper. You clean it up and then you can start painting. Now, I'm terrible at painting, so I'm not even going to attempt painting this, but this model is forever going to live on my shelf. But I just want to say that with 3D printing and 3D printing things like models of, of Jazza and of, um, of other objects that you can find, you can find things on Thingiverse, on MakerBot, on there's a lot of different sites where they have models that are given away for free. And in fact, we will be posting the model of this Jazza, hopefully with maybe some better poses. Uh, we'll post this on Thingiverse for free, uh, with Jazza's permission, of course. Uh, it's a hobby that is great fun. It's very, very rewarding. It offers so much to be creative where you can just create ideas from from a concept, from an idea, and into the real world. I've fixed so many things with this 3D printer, and I've made so many amazing models that I use on a daily basis. Here's another example of a little pencil case that is fun and functional, um, and holds pens and pencils. There's another one that I just printed. I needed a holder for my whiteboard markers, so I just printed this out. So with a 3D printer, you can print whatever your heart desires. There's so many things, and there's so many different types of plastics. The plastics are really exciting that they're coming up with. There's even one called Peak now, which will not be able to be printed on this printer, but Peak is so strong it's used in rocketry and aeronautics. Uh, it is such an exciting field, and it is an ever-growing field, and has gained so much popularity. Also, the prices of printers have absolutely plummeted. There's different types of printers, such as the FDM printer, which this one is, or uh, DLP printers that print from a, a resin that rises out of the vat. Uh, and the biggest thing with these printers is have patience. Models are cheap. When you print something like this, this costs maybe, I'd say, maybe about uh, a dollar to print this. Not even. It wouldn't be even a dollar to print this model. So it's really cheap, and if something breaks, like this one here, we can then just print another one and uh, move on and learn from our mistakes. So I hope this video was informative and fun for you. It was fun for me. Cheers, bye. That's it for today. Check back soon for more videos. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. This helps us understand what you would like to see. If you want to see more of our videos, consider subscribing to our channel and press the notification icon to be notified when a new video comes out. Post comments. Let us know what you want to see. Tell us if you like this video or if there's any other subject matter that you would like to see. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. We buy everything ourselves in this channel and really want to grow this channel. God bless you guys. Love you guys and see you soon. Cheers.